Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I am the American Analyst, and today we are going to be talking about the coronavirus. Very serious topic. I hope I can give some useful insights and perhaps dispel some rumors uh, of certain people out there. With luck, this will not be anywhere as serious as it possibly could be. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, follow me on Twitter and Minds. Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, I want to qualify some things, first of all. So you would know that I'm not just um, talking out my um, rear end. Not supposed to swear on YouTube. <laughs> um, when I was in the military, my profession or my um, MOS, military occupational specialty, was a 74 Delta, which is a chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear specialist. For those of you who in the, are in the military, you will know that that means I'm a pogue, <laughs> uh, which is a person other than grunt, but that's just a joke for the military folks out there. Um, with that being said, that also means that while I am far from an expert, I certainly know more about this kind of thing than the average person. So w with that in mind, I would take what I have to say seriously, but I can certainly be challenged. And I welcome that, in fact, because that just means that better information is getting out there. So with that being said, I'd like to talk about first the current state of the uh, infectiousness, mortality rate of the disease, and then some preventative m measures that you can and should take and relatively easy preventative measures as well. First of all, I'm sure every single person here listening to this has had this compared to the flu. Said, I'm, I'm sure, because I know I have. I'm sure you've had some people say, it's just the flu. It's just a different strand of the flu. It's not. It's not. It's not that. Let's take a look here. So this is from the Center for Disease Control. So you know this is just from some from from some random organization. The flu typically, this is for 2017, 2018, but these numbers are pretty typical, infects between 9.3 and 45 million people. The reason that range is so large is because the flu most of the time goes unreported. Most of the people don't go to the doctor for the flu. That is why that range is so large. But of that, between 12,000 and 61,000 people have died from the flu. So here's the big difference. Before, before that, it appears that the infectiousness of the flu is roughly the same. So it infects the same amount of people as the coronavirus. But the rate, at least for now, seems to be slower, or the virality. So it's moving slower than the flu, but it's also infecting the same amount of people. So you have time to prepare, which would be a good takeaway from that. Here's the big difference between the coronavirus and the flu. The deaths per 100,000 are typically two for the flu, two deaths per 100,000. So doing some simple calculus here, two divided by 100,000 is a 0 0.002 percentage, 0 0.002, because you move the decimal over two places. That is an extremely low rate of mortality among the flu. The coronavirus currently has 3,285 confirmed deaths and 95,481 confirmed cases, 
which would make 95,000 or excuse me 3,500 over 95,000 that would be roughly approximately three and a half percent mortality rate as opposed to 0 0.002 that is why people are taking this seriously that is why you should be taking this seriously this is a second this is a New York Times graphic and you can see here the total number of confirmed cases 95,300 so this is a second source also reporting 3,280 deaths in this particular one and 95,000 people um, infected so that's two sources we're getting roughly 3% in either case that being said so the main difference the main difference is that it is significantly more deadly than the flu but it is infecting the same amount of people the worst thing you could do in any situation is panic It is not going to be that bad I'm sure you've had more years even if you're an older person I'm sure you've had more years where you haven't got the flu than you have not only that people don't worry about the flu there are already companies here in Chicago that are telling workers to stay home to work from home so that will only help things sensible measures like that will only help things so what you can do personally the most important thing that you can do is practice good hygiene easily easily the most important thing you could do particularly for Millennials and I'm guilty of this myself do your laundry anything that you regular regularly come in contact with put it in the washing machine so sheets clothes bed sheets blankets whatever put it in the laundry furthermore you may remember this from first grade throw away your toothbrush throw it away if you've been using it for more than two weeks throw your toothbrush away typically the rule is a month but in this situation I would recommend I'm going through one a week until this blows over one a week they're not that expensive <laughs> go out buy a pack of 10 you'll be fine this will blow over by then two and a half months this will be over but until then one a week Th and throw the one you have out right now <laughs> throw it out I just did I came home today that was the first thing I did got my toothbrush threw it in the garbage that's the first thing and just practice in general good hygiene there's a meme among the uh, chemical community I guess you could say if you want to call it a community it's really not but there is a meme that the answer to every question is just use hot soapy water and while that is true <laughs> um, it, it while that is overblown I should say it's also true just practice good hygiene is by far the best thing you could do by far the second thing you could do have at least at least a week's supply of food I don't think it's gonna be so bad where you're going to have you know you're going to a grocery store and there'll be nothing there I don't think it's gonna get that bad at all I don't think it's gonna get close to that bad but there are cases of people in Italy who are just eating raw pasta they're not going hungry they're they're getting their daily calorie count going about their lives they're just eating raw pasta so if you want to have actually good dinners go out get two weeks of food that would be the next thing so hygiene and good food and the third thing limit your contact with other people and I just say I say that begrudgingly because again 
you don't want to panic and you don't want to be shut in. You have to consider your life. <laughs> Every single person out there has responsibilities. Don't like close yourself behind a door and say, the virus is here. I'm not leaving until it's gone. That's a stupid thing to do. Don't do that. But as much as is possible, limit your contact with other people. So that is the best. Those would be my three points. Practice good hygiene. Get two weeks of food. Limit as much as is practical your contact with other people. And you're going to be fine. This whole thing's going to blow over. And also a sidebar. This is affecting older people more. So if you are in a position to go grocery shopping for someone in your family who is an elderly person who probably go shopping once a week, I would do that. I would go to a grocery store, get two weeks of food, tell them not to use it. Say, hey, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle. Hey, this is, this is just in case of emergency. Don't eat this until this whole thing blows over. That way it will limit their exposure because they are the people who are most at risk. So you want to do everything you can to mitigate that risk. Okay. Final thoughts. Again, it's going to be bad. It's not going to be that bad. We're going to be fine. Everybody's going to be fine. The only thing that could make it worse is if the Chinese government is not reporting this accurately to us, which obviously they have many reasons why they may do that, but it does not appear to be the case yet. So I would say again, don't panic and use hot soapy water. <laughs> if you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and follow me on Twitter and Minds. Have a good evening. Thank you all for listening. This is Mike, the American Analyst. Follow me on Twitter, Minds, and subscribe to me on YouTube, and be sure to hit that bell notification. I'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.